let's take a look at speed and velocity. You have almost certainly heard the words speed and velocity before. Speed, you've probably been told, is how fast something is going. And velocity is four syllables that mean exactly the same thing. In physics, however, those two terms have specific meanings, and they are not the same. Speed in physics, uh, we can say, is the ratio of the distance traveled to the time that it takes. And if you think about that definition, you can come up with an equation that you might have seen. So speed is a ratio. A ratio is just division. Um, or it can be expressed as division. And if it's the ratio of distance traveled to time that it takes, then it's the distance traveled divided by the time. It's a ratio. So we can set it up as a fraction. And that's where this equation comes from. This equation that you may have seen in a previous course where someone says speed is distance over time. But you have to be careful. That equation is not complete and it can be misleading when we look at some circumstances. So if you're comfortable with the equation speed is distance over time, that's nice. But keep in mind, that's not the full definition. The distance is the distance that's been traveled, and the time is the time that it has taken to travel that distance. Speed is a scalar, uh, and it has units which we can figure out if we look at that equation. Well, speed is equal to, let's say it says distance divided by time. Distance has units of meters, time has units of seconds, so the unit of speed would be meters per second. Okay. Velocity. Velocity is different. Velocity is the ratio of the displacement to the time that it takes to complete that displacement. We can use that expression to come up with an equation. And we'll write it this way. Velocity is equal to the displacement of an object divided by the time it takes to complete that displacement. And we can even shorten that into just variables. Velocity is often given the symbol v. Displacement is often given the variable s. And if that seems weird, it is. But that's what we'll do. Displacement is represented with the variable s. And time is represented with the variable t. So v is equal to s over t. And that's kind of our basic velocity equation. And if we think about the units of velocity, well, the unit of displacement is meter, the unit of time is second, so the unit of velocity would be meters per second. Speed and velocity have the same units. Velocity is a vector. That's another big difference between speed and velocity. Velocity is a vector, so it must have direction. The direction of the velocity is the same as the direction of the displacement. So if you look at our equation, v is equal to s over t, another thing that an equation tells you that you may not have seen in the past is that everything on both sides of the equation must be the same. So we're used to seeing that the number has to be the same on both sides, and we've talked about how the unit has to be the same on both sides. But it also turns out that if you're talking about vectors, the direction has to be the same on both sides. So, if velocity is equal to displacement over time, well, if displacement has a direction, that direction must be the same as the direction of the velocity on the other side of the equation. Let's do an example. So, say you want to go from one class to the next, and to do that you have to travel 100 meters to the west. Um, you're excited to go to class, so you run. And it takes you 20 seconds to travel from the first class to the second class. Well, let's calculate your speed. Your speed would be the distance that you traveled divided by the time that it took. So that's 100 meters divided by 
20 seconds. And that's 5 meters per second. All right. The velocity would be the displacement divided by the time that it took. Your displacement was 100 meters to the west, and your time was 20 seconds, so that is 5 meters per second to the west. All right. Do another example. Let's say you go from the second class back to the first, so now you're going to travel 100 meters to the east. And this time, let's say you walk, so it takes you... 50 seconds. Again, we can calculate the speed. We'll do that expression. 100 meters divided by 50 seconds. That's 2 meters per second. And your velocity would be 100 meters to the east divided by 50 seconds or 2 meters per second to the east. If you look at the results of these two examples, you can start to get a feel for the meaning of speed and velocity. If the speed is 5 meters per second, that means you're traveling 5 meters of distance each second. If you have a displacement of 5 meters per second west, then you have a displacement of 5 meters west every second. And if your speed is 2 meters per second, you're traveling a distance of 2 meters each second. And if your velocity is... Uh, two meters per second east, then you're traveling a displacement of two meters east each second. Now one way that those two situations were similar and somewhat simple is that the person did not speed up, did not slow down, did not change direction, did not stop, nothing like that. The person was always moving at a steady pace, was either always running or always walking. A situation where the object does not speed up, does not slow down, and does not change direction, but always moves at a consistent pace, is Uniform motion refers to a situation where the object does not speed up, does not slow down, does not change direction. And of course things do speed up, and they do slow down, and they do change direction, but this is where we'll start. Uniform motion is a great starting place. And we'll worry about the more complicated situations a little bit later.